Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see here on our channel, our website, or our social media. Reach out to me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. And today we're discussing a 2008 Mollier limited edition of 130 pieces. This is the Glossuta Original Special Edition Moritz Grossmann. And I should mention, it predates the arrival of the modern day re-established Moritz Grossmann brand. So the timepiece is white gold and 40 millimeters, measuring a slim 11.2 millimeters thick and 47.1 millimeters lug to lug with a 19 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Throw it on my wrist, 16 centimeters in circumference, and you can see here's the down the barrel shot. Here's the cuff shot, easily sliding underneath any kind of a dress sleeve. And then here's the over the top shot. You will note there's plenty of clearance on either side of my wrist, making for a watch that would easily wear on a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference. But all in white gold with a solid case back, you do feel the mass of the precious metal. Now taking a quick look at the hardware and the software, you can see that the strap itself is large rectangular scale alligator leather. It's a gloss finish. It does have folded edges and a monotone stitch with a little bit of bolstering to give it some volume. On the underside, you can see it's calfskin, and it is a Glasuta Original factory strap in outstanding condition. There is a simple matching Geo white gold pin buckle, and the case itself is simple but strong. It's somewhat evocative of later Cellini models, but I should mention that it predates most of those Cellini models by over half a decade, and it looks absolutely stunning. Handsome blended profiles mean that you don't have a completely integrated lug. It does stand out from the case band a little bit as a separate sculptural volume. It adds to the complexity of the curvature, which is all compound curved. As you can see, it's rounded with tumble home from top to bottom and then sweep from end to end. Everything's in high polish. The bezel is stepped up from the case band to add some more definition. And then there is some narrow coining of the bezel inboard of the outer domed portion. Rolling over the crown side, you can see this watch is designed Designed to be pocket watch inspired, as Moritz Grossmann himself, a famed Saxon watchmaker in East Germany, he would have worked with pocket watches in his era, and the timepiece is designed to evoke the late 19th century era of Glasuta pocket watch manufacture. To that end, the crown is onion style, the case is rounded and bulbous with that compound curvature that you would get with a pocket watch case, and then there is a wonderfully complex dial that is a very subtle La Chinture Grane, or essentially a silver grain. It's a lot like sandpaper, and it's a multi-step process that begins with roughing the brass base and ultimately applying a silver paste over the metallic base, which creates that lovely granular, soft silver opaline form. So the dial base is that opaline silver, and then you can see that there are individual blued hour indices, and they are applique. The arbor, at the center, actually, the, the cannon pinion itself, I should say, as well as the surround, is completely hand-polished. So you can see everything about this watch has been exhaustively detailed on the dial side. There's a sunken sub-second with a railroad track, and then there is a railroad track outboard for reading the minute scale. You can also see there's a lovely semi-syringe profile to the fired blue hands, both hours and minutes. And on the reverse side, you can see an actual engraved image of Moritz Grossmann himself on the red, gold, and white gold versions of this watch, and there are both. This is a hand-engraved image, so it's not simply a stamped or embossed image. And inside the case, which you can see, is water resistant down to 50 meters, number 15 of 130. There is the Glossuta Original Twin Mainspring Barrel Automatic Caliber 100-11. Twin barrels and a 55-hour power reserve. During the 2000s, this was the upscale of the two Glossuta Original Automatics. And with a 55-hour power reserve, twin mainspring barrels, and a 4 hertz beat rate, it remains contemporary today, giving outstanding timing as it's been adjusted in five positions, just just like the high horology and chronometer standard. This is a watch that puts it all together gloriously handmade inside and out and evocative of the heritage of East German watchmaking as well as the present and its future. This is a wristwatch that pays deference to history and reference to history, but is very much forward-looking and relevant to this day. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.